We're in the Still Life Academy website and the Cinema 4D CGI Whiskey Masterclass. And we're in the group chat. Now if we scroll down, we have a question from Neil. And Neil is saying that he's getting to the first render stage, which is brilliant. And he's just getting some, some nasty banding and noise in the shadow areas. But oddly, this doesn't show up in the picture viewer in C4D, only in Photoshop. And he's very kindly provided us with a screenshot here. And whether you can see that on your screen or not, there is some bandings. We have a block of tone here, then another band, and another band. And essentially, this should be a smooth gradient. And also, we can see on the side of the bottle, we are getting some horrible stepping and facets. And even down this block here, a very sort of sharp division between one tone and another when things should be smooth. So let's go and see what we can find. So we have here our master file that I used to create the scene. And my suspicion is that linear workflow has something to do with what's going on, but let's investigate. So here's our scene. And if we go to edit project settings, this brings up a dialog box panel in the attributes panel and linear workflow is turned off. This is something we talked about very early on in the beginning of the course, but uh, even if you turned it off there, it doesn't fix it as a permanent off. So if we did a new file, by default, it's come back to linear workflow on. So this may be happening to some of you when you're coming to the render scene your linear workflow is still on. So what does that really mean? Well, I've rendered out two files here for you. One with the linear workflow off, as I recommend, and one with it on. And both of them are done in 8-bit. So if we just have a look here. So the multipass file on the left is with linear workflow off, and the one on the right is with the linear workflow on. Now, to all intents and purposes, at the moment, they look almost identical. I can see a little bit of banding going on here, but it's when we go to the copper plinths and we add the reflect and doubling it up, which I think we did in the final retouch file. And then we do the same on the linear workflow on file. You can see what a massive difference that is making. So our file on the left, if we zoom in, we have what we would expect is a nice soft transition of tones and reflections. And things are behaving as we would expect them to be. Conversely, if we pop over to our linear workflow on file, I don't have to zoom in too far to see that is exactly what Neil was showing on the group chat. If we just go back and have a look, these heavily stepped banding tones have appeared and down the facets on the bottle as well. And on this front step looking pretty ugly. And there have been some comments that you could save it out as 16 bit with linear workflow on and that should get rid of it. But then again, you're then going to be adding massively to your file size, which there isn't really much need to do if your 8-bit linear workflow off has achieved exactly what is required. If we have a look at the indirect and the direct on, even though this is with the depth of field turned off, just to give us full sharpness so we can see exactly what's happening with the copper plinths, everything seems to be behaving exactly as you would expect it to be. So there are a lot of conjectures about linear workflow and the consensus is that you should be using it, but everything I've ever experienced with it creates more problems and headaches. And this isn't just for Corona Renderer either. I used Cinema 4D and V-Ray for 10 years and had exactly the same kind of issues with it as well. No matter how much I, I changed and set up the textures, 
tried to keep linear workflow on. I just ran into some hideous problems all the way through, and it was just for one tick box. It seems to make no sense at all for me at the moment. So this is how I'm working at the moment, and things may change in the future, but I'm getting great results with turning it off. File sizes are smaller. Everything's working as my eye intends it to be. And unless some wizard comes along and says, no, do it this way and everything improves, then I will stay sticking with doing what I'm doing. The thing you will notice that when you do tick on linear workflow is that the textures do alter. And that is kind of converting it into the line of what the linear workflow is about. So essentially linear workflow is gamma at 1.0 and with it off gamma is at 2.2 so you would think that having linear workflow off all of your images would be super bright and blown out but that simply isn't the case with what's happening with our renders they are almost identical it is just the amount of banding and noise and issues you're getting with it so please forgive my ignorance if i have misunderstood something here but for what are we now 13 or 14 years of having linear workflow turned off and I'm producing the images that I want to My clients seem happy with it um, and I'm not really running into any issues at the moment as I say that is how I'm going to continue okay hopefully that answers Neil's question and if any of you run into that in the future that is what I would recommend okay thank you very much